friends, we're back today with our special guest reader for the week, Miss Doobie, and she's going to read you another great book. And this time, instead of a, a kitten, it's going to be about a dog, and it's called Harry the Dirty Dog. So here's Miss Doobie to read you all your story. Good morning, boys and girls. I am so glad Miss Buck let me come back and read to you. And like she said, this book is called Harry the Dirty Dog. Ooh, if you look at the pictures, here he is, he looks clean. Here he looks kind of dirty. I wonder how he got that way. Harry the Dirty Dog. Harry was a white dog with black spots who liked everything except taking a bath. One day, when he heard the water running in the tub, he took his scrubbing brush and buried it in the backyard. Uh-oh. And then he ran, aw, he ran away from home. He played where they were fixing the street and got very dirty. He played at the railroad. Oh, look at the train. Look at all the black smoke. He got even dirtier. He went to the park and played with the other dogs and got even dirtier still. Oh my goodness. Look, they're running through all the pipes and there's mud everywhere. They all look dirty. He slid down a coal chute. Coal is kind of what you put in a fire. And he changed from a white dog with black spots to a black dog with white spots. Look, he's so black. There were so many things to do. He wondered though if his family missed him. He felt tired and hungry, so he ran all the way home. Look, he doesn't even look like himself. When Harry got to his house, he crawled through the fence and looked at the back door. One of the family looked out the door and said, there's a strange dog in our backyard. Hey, has anybody seen Harry? Well, when Harry heard this, he tried very hard to show them that he was Harry. He started to do all of his tricks. He flip-flopped and flop-flipped. He rolled over and played dead. Look, he's trying really hard. He danced and he sang, woo, woo, woo. He did his tricks over and over but nobody knew he was Harry. Harry got sad and walked to the gate. But then he stopped. Aha, he thought. He went to the corner of the garden and started to dig and dig and dig. Soon he jumped up from the hole, barking woof, woof, found his scrubby brush that he took a bath with. Remember, he did not like to take a bath. He carried it in his mouth and he ran into the house. Look, he's running into the house. Up the stairs he dashed with all of the family following. What is this strange dog doing in our house, they said. He jumped into the bathtub and began begging, please, please give me a bath. He had a scrubby brush in his mouth, a trick he had never done before. Hey, this little doggy wants a bath, said the little girl. And her daddy said, well, why don't you and your brother give him a bath? Because he's really, really dirty. Soapy 
prettiest bath he'd ever had. It was like magic. As soon as the children started to scrub, they began shouting, Mommy, Daddy, hurry, come quick, look. He's losing all the black dirt. It's Harry, it's Harry, it's Harry, they said. Harry wagged his tail and was very, very happy. His family combed and brushed him, and he once again became a white dog with black spots. It was a wonderful day to be home. After dinner, Harry fell asleep in his favorite bed. He thought how much fun it was to be dirty, but it was so much more fun to be clean. In fact, he liked his brush so much that he put it under his bed. Hmm, I wonder if Harry's gonna like taking a bath from now on. This was a good book. So first he was clean, then he was dirty. But nobody knew he was Harry. So after he took a bath, he was Harry again. So it's just like you, make sure you take a bath every day so that you'll be clean like Harry. Thank you for joining me. See you next time. Woof woof.